the fat, people. It ain't the fat. So what is it? Well, it's the carbohydrate. Specifically, which carbohydrate? Well, beverage intake, right? 41% increase in soft drinks, 35% increase in fruit drinks, fruit aids, whatever you want to call them. Okay. Just remember, down here, one can of soda a day is 150 calories. Multiply that by 365 days a year, and then divide that by the magic number of 3,500 calories per pound. If you eat or drink 3,500 calories more than you burn, you will gain one pound of fat. Okay? That's the first law of thermodynamics, no argument there. That's worth 15 and a half pounds of fat per year. One soda a day is 15 and a half pounds per year. Now, you've all heard that before. That's not news to you. The question is, how come we don't respond? How come leptin doesn't work? How come we can't stay energy stable? That's what we're going to get to. So I call this slide very specifically the Coca-Cola conspiracy. Anybody here work for Coke? Pepsi? OK, good. All right, so this over here, 1915, the first standardized bottle of Coca-Cola out of Atlanta. Anybody remember this bottle? Sure, so a lot of you do, right? I remember this bottle because my grandfather in Brooklyn took me on Saturday afternoon down to the local soda shop on Avenue M and Ocean Avenue, and every Saturday afternoon I had one of these. I remember it very well. Now, if you drank one of those every day, assuming, of course, that the recipe hasn't changed, because after all, only two people in the world know the recipe, and they're not allowed to fly in the plane at the same time, right? You know that, okay? Assuming the recipe hasn't changed, if you drank one of those every day for a year, six and a half ounces, that would be worth eight pounds of fat per year, okay? Now, in 1955, after World War II, and sugar became plentiful again and wasn't being rationed, we have the appearance of the 10-ounce bottle, the first one that was found in vending machines, and you probably remember that one as well. Then in 1960, the ever-ubiquitous 12-ounce can, worth 16 pounds of fat per year, and of course today, this over here is the single unit of measure, right, 20 ounces. Anybody know how many servings are in that bottle? 2.5 8-ounce servings, that's right. Anybody know, anybody who gets 2.5 8-ounce servings out of that bottle? That's a single serving, right? Okay, so that would be worth 26 pounds of fat per year if you did that every day. And then, of course, over here we have the 7-Eleven Big K Thirst Buster, Big Gulp, whatever you want to call it. 44 ounces worth 57 pounds of fat per year. And if that wasn't bad enough, my colleague Dr. Dan Hale at the University of Texas San Antonio tells me that down there they got a Texas-sized Big Gulp. <laughs> 60 ounces of Coca-Cola, a Snickers bar, and a bag of Doritos, all for 99 cents. Okay, so if you did that every day for a year, that would be worth 112 pounds of fat per year. 